I just want to look like all the cool visco girls. They all have all these like cool thrifted items and I'm literally just a piece of trash and I don't have anything. Hey guys, so today we're doing something that I've never done before. I mean, I've done it like one or two times, but honestly, nothing came out of it. And it's we're going thrift shopping. <laughs> I'm literally so excited. Like over the last few years, there's been the, over the last few years, there's been these, okay. Over the last few years, there's been oh my god. Over the last few years, there's been this huge trend of just like going to Goodwill and other thrift stores. I literally don't know what other thrift stores are called, but like going just to thrift stores and buying secondhand goods that are cool and vintage. You know, I've been to a Goodwill like one or two times in the last few years and I literally didn't find anything. I never had the motivation to go back because I went once and everything there is like really old and it kind of smells weird. Okay, but I've been thinking about this recently. Do you know why I haven't found anything good? I think the main reason why myself and a bunch of other people go thrifting and never find anything is because of the internet. You see people on the internet and they find these crazy things at thrift stores. Who even knows if they even found them in thrift stores and they just like bought it at a regular store and they're lying. But they find like this crazy stuff and one, they either go to thrift stores like 24 seven or two, which I think might be like one of the reasons for me is like I go to a thrift store and they have all this stuff. But when I see it for myself, I'm like, mm. Mm, this is kind of ugly. But if someone else were to get it, I bet I would be like, wow, I can't believe you found that. That's like amazing. So I don't know if thrifting is just like being confident and picking out random stuff and just trying it on, or if it's just being really, 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 really lucky. But anyways, today we're gonna go thrift shopping and I think I have three or four stores picked out. One of the main reasons I wanna go thrift shopping today, not because I wanna finally just like find something after like never being able to find something. I need new clothes. It's like the end of summer, it's back to school, which I mean, I don't think is the smartest idea to go and buy old clothing. Like back to school is like new clothes and stuff. But like, I still wanna go and see if I can find some cool stuff for the new school year. For those of you who don't know, I'm in college and in college you get so many free t-shirts. Like I'm not even kidding. I think right now in my closet, I have like 25 or 30 free t-shirts. Shirts. You just go to some random school event and they have t-shirts that they're giving out and you just take them And I think I have like 30 of them whenever I'm like really really lazy in the morning And I don't want to dress up and look good in class I just throw on a free t-shirt, but this semester is all about cutting that off. I need to stop wearing free t-shirts They're not cute. They're ugly literally. Oh my god. I'm literally wearing one right now. Okay. I need to go change I cannot be wearing this right now. Okay, I'm back. Literally, I'm telling you guys, the free t-shirts, once you get them, you get addicted to them and it's literally all you wear because it's just like comfort clothing. So I need to just like cut that addiction off. I put this on, is this? Mm. It's kind of plain. See, even my normal clothes, like they're kind of plain. I need to go find some really cool, unique stuff. So what are my goals for today? I don't know even like what to look for. From the YouTube videos I've seen in the past, people get like really cool like sweaters. I've never owned a champion product. I kind of want like a champion sweater or something. I know that sounds like really bandwagon-ish. Everyone has champion these days. I need to go find some really cool, unique stuff. I've never had any champion clothing, so I mean, I would not mind finding some kind of cool champion sweater for like $5, because we all know those cost like 85 at Urban Outfitters, and I'm not about to pay that much money for a sweater. I like generally don't know what to like look for, because I've been there a few times, and I literally just haven't found anything. I mean, I found this one thing a few years ago. If I have it, I'll show you guys. I found this one one thing at Goodwill once and it was so cool. It was only like $2 so I bought it and I've been using it for like all those spirit days. I think I even used it for Halloween once. Okay, yes, I have it. It's like this vintage tennis racket. Like, are you kidding me? Look at that. I think this is so freaking cool. Prior to this Goodwill trip, I've never seen a vintage tennis racket. It was only $2 so I bought it obviously. Like, how are you gonna not buy this? I even posted a picture with this on my Instagram. I'll put it right here. So, Go like that. I think I posted that sometime last year because it's still in my blue theme, which now I'm on to gold. If y'all don't follow me on in. 
So if y'all don't follow me on Instagram, y'all should definitely go follow me because I think I post pretty good pictures. But yeah, that's literally like the only thing I've ever found in a thrift store. So I'm not planning on going and trying and find some more tennis rackets today, but we'll see what I find. But yeah, one other thing I've been into lately is like bleach dyeing t-shirts. She made a video about this a few weeks ago. I'll link it up on the card. I don't know if it pops up here and here. Man, I've been doing YouTube for one year and I still don't know where it pops up. It's this t-shirt right here. I made this queen t-shirt that I got for really cheap. It was completely black and I like tie dyed this section with bleach by myself. And y'all should go watch that video and see how I did that. But then I recently also got this shirt. It's dare keeping kids off drugs. And then I like tie dyed the bottom of this with bleach. Maybe I can find some kind of cool black shirt with a cool design and bleach dye that. But yeah, I don't know. Let's just go to the stores, I guess, and see what we can find. What time is it? It's been four hours. I was out thrift shopping for four hours and I'm finally back. So I've got all my bags around me. I thought we'd do a little thrift haul. Wow, I can finally proudly say I'm like a trendy, quirky YouTuber. I'm doing a thrift haul. Can you believe this? Like never in a million years did I think I would say that. Thrift haul. <laughs> Wow. So let's start off by moving the camera down so I can show you guys everything that I got. And I got all my bags here, so let me just pick up all the bags. Look how much I got. I got so much stuff. Like this is at least like 20 bags worth of clothes. So let's just go one by one and see what I got. Okay, let me set my bags down, open this. Oh, this is one of my favorite things that I got. So this is this really sick, like, I think this is like a 90s flannel. I don't know exactly what year this was made, but it's really vintage. It has like some holes in the back. I don't know if you can see these holes that are like down here, but I just think that adds like a really nice spice like kind of like a yeezy vibe to it and then i got look at these shoes these shoes are so cool they have like a really thick sole so i really think these shoes are pretty nice and i'm really excited to wear them they're also white so they're gonna go with anything and i think i can like pair it with some nice vintage jeans speaking of vintage jeans okay y'all are not ready to see this watch this are you kidding me i literally look at this these are Levi's, like, like these are like from the 70s, I think, because they kind of have a flare on the bottom. Do you see the flare? I'm so excited to wear these because they're so cool. And I think like the acid wash on them is something I've never had before. I know these go for a lot of money on like Urban Outfitters and stuff, but guess how much I paid for this? Seven dollars. Are you kidding me? I'm like speechless. I'm so happy with everything that I found. I'm just like so proud of myself for finally finding some good thrifted items. Like I've been trying this for so long and I could just never find any good items, but I finally did it. I literally don't know what I'm doing with this video. Are you kidding me? Clearly you can see I didn't really get any good items. I mean, not even any good items. I didn't get any items. I honestly feel like the problem is my location. I went thrift shopping in like a suburban area. So I feel like everything at the thrift stores is just like old people's stuff or like, you know, like soccer mom type of jazz. So I wasn't really guaranteed to find anything good. I feel like if I went into the city and like shopped in like a downtown setting, then I could have found 
found some really good stuff. I don't wanna leave you guys with nothing. I'm gonna show you something that I got at the store the other day. This isn't thrifted. I got this at TJ Maxx, which I mean, it's not thrifted, let's be honest, it's not. But you can find some pretty good stuff at TJ Maxx and I found this and it looks like a thrifted item. I can just pretend and say that I did thrift it. Whenever anyone asks, I just be like, yeah, I got it thrifted. I know I'm cool. I'm like the cool trendy youth these days. I love thrift shopping. So I went and I found this gem. So let me just show it for you guys. It actually is pretty cool. Right off the bat, the coolest part is that it's a Levi's jacket. Are you kidding me? I don't think I've ever had a Levi's denim jacket. See, look, it's like this denim jacket, but it has different shades of denim. So like this is light, this is dark. This is like a medium and then the back looks pretty cool. And I'm just so excited to wear this. There you guys go. I'm probably gonna use that jacket for the thumbnail cause I need to like use something for the thumbnail cause I need to trick people into thinking that I did find some good thrifted items. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm sorry I didn't find anything good, but I guess that just means I have a reason to go back again. If I ever do this again, I'm definitely gonna go into the city. I'm not gonna be in the suburban area. Cause I think that's where you can find the good stuff. Like that's where there are like richer people, they're donating more cooler stuff, you know? I guess that's it for now. I'll see you next week. Peace.